ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. It is the third show match, or actually the third match of this show match series. It is Druid's Dax spawning as the Red Zerg in the top of Tiki Shipyard. And we have his opponent, Druid's Vandalay as the Blue Terran here in the bottom. And, well, Vandalay is up 2-0. to zero. I remember that from some other series, some other time. Well, it was, uh, I guess, just two weeks ago when these uh, players last saw each other at this show match series. And, well, the two games uh, we've seen so far are really uh, kind of... Uh, Games that started off equally. I mean, both players doing the same build, more or less. Vendley again following up a quick expansion with uh, Bioplay. He went through a bit of a different route, but nonetheless, that's uh, what occurred. And uh, keeping uh, Medivac pressure on to uh, try to deny bases from Dax. But this time, Dax didn't fall to that. So it ended uh, in a bit of more late game uh, scenario, and uh, well, Dax is taking uh, the hatchery again uh, on 15 foot. He will, um, or he was able to to take it to a later game, get his uh, his ultras up, get his uh, brutalers up first. But well, in the end, it didn't matter. I mean, the the army engagement were just better for Vandalay, I, I guess overall. That really made uh, such a such a large difference because at first I thought. This army would uh, would crush the Terran player at that point, but um, no, it uh, it didn't happen. So, all right, it appears once more. We will see a fast command center here, 400, and there it goes. Ooh, actually, a really quick third now from Dax. This is a big difference from uh, the previous games. He takes his third. I actually hadn't spotted that he didn't take his uh, spawning pool yet at all. So the, the pool is really, really late. He will need to follow it up with a, a really good defense because if Vandalay sees this, he will just uh, call uh, balls out with bunkers and marines, I guess. But uh, let's see if he suspects anything. Well, if uh, the SCV actually comes into the main and sees the spawning pool still morphing in, that will definitely uh, tell him what's up. And there he goes, and the SCV sees it. So, he's definitely thinking, well, he was going to uh, <laughs> do a 1-1-1 anyway, I suppose. But, uh, so maybe he's really happy to see this now. Well, Dark's not yet uh, also taking two gas now. Well, Let's see what he wants to... Uh, oh! <laughs> Actually, that was just an extractor trick. I was thinking really hard what he wanted to do with that. And there, the SCV immediately puts down a bunker just before the creep spread there. <laughs> nice reaction timing from uh, from Vandalay, you really saw. But uh, again, the links will be there before those uh, those Marines can arrive and they will again get the, the SCV. So th that's nice. Vandalay getting to cancel this... Uh, building bunker and that will uh, keep the marines here for just a little bit and uh, Dax following it up with uh, a couple more circlings although he really doesn't want to lose them so as soon as these uh, marines he should retreat now oh Dax what are you doing ouch ouch because every unit is really critical right now for uh, for his defense for his uh, map presence as well but just losing a couple links to uh, Four marines right there, and we see Vandalay going bio once more. He knows he uh, either has to do damage now or go for a big economy, as the Zerg is doing. Or you could uh, scare the Zerg into overbuilding units, I suppose, but there we go. Third command center. Going down, it will of course be a lot later than this uh, this third from Dax. So, how will Vandalay compensate? That's really what I'm uh, <laughs> looking to say, I guess. 
because oh, he needs to do something. Zerg building 12 drones at the same time, so really that's uh, that can't go on for for too long. But Vendley moving up with uh, some marines and actually uh, Dark sees it, moves the queen forward, and I like that very much. The marines didn't have an opportunity to start whaling away at those uh, and those links too early. Speed now coming down, double Evo Chamber, Baneling Nest as well. I guess he will need it. And, well, Vandalay will retreat for now. And uh, I do think that he's uh, a good bit behind from uh, from this. Of course, uh, he can get back, no problem at all. But uh, he neither has uh, a lot of tech. I mean, just having uh, double reactor uh, Marines. I mean, Marines are awesome, but they're uh, not exactly... Uh, meaty kind of units and uh, now we have starport uh, going up but that will just be uh, to support these marines with netafax and uh, the third now just uh, morphing in whereas of course uh, the zerg could have yeah he has uh, had basically nine minutes of uh, freedom to do whatever he wanted again going for so many drones we see 62 drones to 42 scvs well that's not actually uh, a pretty bad number but we see all the zerg Speedlings now moving in and actually Will Dax stim yes or actually Vandalay stims and moves his uh, marines so nicely and a lot of Zerglings were killed right there but I think uh, Dax is happy to trade these units for now until he gets uh, the Spire up yes there we go he wants to harass the turn actually I, I'm well he will know more about this than I do but uh, I'm I'm not quite sure. I think with uh, with these mass marines that uh, Vanda is doing, and uh, generally, of course, he has very very good map awareness. I, I would actually like to see some investors, maybe, but well, Dax will have uh, thought this through. At least I hope. And again, uh, retaking the watchtower in the middle with uh, rebuild zerglings. Well, Van Lee just uh, quietly takes a third base. More guys coming down, so what? Uh, getting one upgrade here. Dax trying to get down the destructible rocks while he has the time. And taking a fourth base as well. So this will really, really be... Uh, Macro uh, type play, but here, as soon as the Manifacts pop out, we see that uh, <laughs> Vandalay just wants to wants to drop, but uh, pesky placed Overlord here will get taken down. Uh, but it, of course, will alert uh, Dax to not only that uh, there are Manifacts on the map, but that they are moving towards his bases, immediately streaming back with a bunch of circlings to intercept any possible incoming attack. Although, in fact, there is that. And that, of course, is. Uh, what Mutalis will be very good uh, against. Well, this map is large enough that the uh, Terran player can avoid them, but links here. Will they allow this matter to uh, get behind the middle line? No. And there we see, immediately greeted by the first Mutalis that are out. Well, in the middle of the map, we see a large engagement though, and these links really need to retreat a lot sooner than that because a lot of them have been taken out, but. The Medifac is uh, gone as well, and there's a huge pack of uh, Mutalix right here. Well, these Marines uh, go up to take down this hatch. Of course, with those uh, Mutas, they will deny any retreating with uh, with those Medifax. And there, the Lynx stream in the Mutas from the back as well. Will they get targeted? Yes, Vanlay targets them very, very nice. And look at how many Mutas are falling, but that also means that the links can do their damage, but uh, more streaming in now to really clean this up. Even Bane links being needed, and then the man effect goes down. But I think he lost uh, maybe four or five meters right there, uh, which is not really a nice trade if you uh, if you only get two man effects in uh, exchange. Of course, a lot of uh, a lot of bio went down here for uh, for Vandal. He was just about to uh, transition into some tanks but low tank numbers with low marine numbers are not really good and Dax knows it he's just taking a fifth base as well and this is 
going to give Vandalay a lot of heartache because Zerg, which is in control of the map, especially Antigua, that's just very strong because look at this entire area here. I mean, the Terran, of course, it can do a lot of drop harass. But it's really a kind of safe place for uh, for Zerg to uh, to go and expand to. But uh, <laughs> we see Mutalisk in the main base now. Some uh, Marines are getting stinned back to uh, to deal with this, and now the Mutalisk should retreat. Well, we see the drop from uh, from Vandalay coming, but in the meantime, Dax positioning his entire army here. He wants to try a bust. There we go. Immediately darts in. He only sees one tank that is sieged and one that is not and those banelings they deal with this and actually no the wall of not finishing so everything gets in here the medevac is not even unloading Vandalay knows that he is in trouble and now some more ma marines they stim but can I get away from the banelings in time it looks like for now they will but the um, mutilists are being pulled to catch the just now flying in medevacs and this looks like it will be GG in any moment now this base has been lifted the links are everywhere now actually we did see uh, the drop taking down the third or actually I didn't show you because I'm terrible you guys but um, look at that actually nicely doing some damage but I mean compared to this right it doesn't matter GG